just came out a little bit to kind of clear my thoughts and I'm gonna go out for some walk. It's been really busy, like very, very busy day. I feel like I just need some fresh air. I actually just came out to one of the like lookout around my house. It's so busy. There's so many people out here. So I'm gonna go somewhere else. Okay, I got here now. I'm at a place called Cascades. There was a lot of cars in the parking lot, but I don't see any people around me yet. So, whew. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to walk all the way to the waterfall, see some water. I haven't been there for ages now. Let's go. Do you know what flagship kind of means in the camera industry? You know, like the flagship cameras like Nikon D5, now D6, and Canon's like 1D lines, like 1DX Mark 1, Mark 2, not Mark 3. You know, it's the usually like flagship kind of means like you know, during the war, the command ship that kind of leads all the ships behind. So basically, like it's the it's the head, it's a captain. So what happened like this time? Why everybody's talking about Nikon D6 this time? You know. There has been a lot of talk and a lot of rumors about D6 in general. D6 having like one of a one of a kind type of features that the other cameras never really had. Like flagship camera with the in-body stabilization or raw video recording, you know, just like an icon Z6 Z6 with the external recorder. When it came out, nothing. Literally nothing. So no in-body stabilizer. It doesn't even have a like live view focusing system that Nikon Z system has or Nikon D780 has, which is like a big disappointment because everybody was waiting for it. While Canon's 1DX Mark III was released about a month ahead of Nikon D6 and has everything. You know, to me, when something is a flagship, I think you, as kind of as a company-wise, or maybe it's just me thinking, I think the company should put everything they have. They have to put everything they have, make it into the best camera they can produce at that time of release. In which, it has been that way with the Nikon D5's case, or Nikon D4, D4S, they were great. But I think this time coming, D6 is kind of a little bit of a, mm, yeah, using same sensor, just different focusing system, which is apparently really good. But D5's focusing system is already amazing too. So I don't know how much of a thing we need actually. I was kind of too busy talking and didn't pay attention to where I was going. I came all the way back to the parking lot again. Okay, let's turn. <laughs> Water's that way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really regretting that I brought my camera back. It's like so heavy. Oh. Yeah, of course I brought my D50. And I brought the, I don't know whether you can see. But. I think I'm about one third way to the waterfall. And it actually feels really good. It's a little bit breezy. Whew. Okay, let's back to the point a little bit. Yeah, I wish that D6 came out just as, just like the rumor. I think it would have been a, a lot more exciting camera than what it is now. But now, let's think about it. The Olympic is delayed. And Nikon has a history of making those like single digit half generation upgrade like D4S, D3S, 
D5 did not have the S variation, but this time they might consider it again. You know, like I know they're aiming for the professional market, but at the same time, it's not only the professionals who buy those one digit flagship. So if they don't add those like video features and the other convenience features, they'll be handy to many other kind of high end shooters. Like if they don't, then they're basically ditching them. They're not gonna buy Nikon, which is not great for Nikon either. That's just my personal hope. I wish this company is doing well. I'm just as a Nikon shooter, also a member of Nikon professional service. I wish they do well. And hope they make some exciting camera like everybody wants. I think I'm pretty close to the waterfall. Uh, maybe another three minute walk. I can really, I can hear the water really loud. Oh man, I'm so excited to see the water right now. I think it's too loud to talk into the microphone because of the water. Oh, shit. I guess I gotta make my way back up to ah, the parking lot. Okay, I'm almost here. I guess I'll finish talking at the studio. How does that sound? See you very soon. Okay, let's go. You know what I just found? Remember earlier, I set my camera up, took a clip of me going over the, this tiny stream? Because I thought the water was kind of high and then I didn't know that there was a way. Look at this. So there was a bridge I can easily walk over instead of Jumping and risking dropping my gears in the water. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Nikon D6S. Let's go Nikon. Let's make it. Uh, I'm finally home. Let's wrap this up. So, what do you think about the idea of having Nikon D6S coming out next year for the Olympics? You know, in the history, um, Nikon announced the Nikon D4S about two years after Nikon D4 due to some of their issues or some of the complaints from the professionals. Nikon D5 did not need the S model because it was such a great camera. And even now, I feel like the camera is like amazing. The focus capability, just the robustness and how fast it shoots and how fast it stores. But now, D6, D6. I mean, honestly, let's, let's be honest. Like who does need like better autofocus system like now? I mean, basically the camera's doing the job. There's a less work for the shooters. There's more work is done on the camera side. You know, all the autofocus features like face tracking, eye autofocus. I know that Nikon D6 is a great camera. It's going to have amazing 
AF performance, just like other Nikon cameras. And all the features they added from what I read, just to make your workflow better in the press kind of situation, it's pretty amazing the features they implemented. But there's still more things they can do, especially anything towards the video. You know, like these days, the video is became one of the major portion of the like imaging industry. Video is such a big part and the cameras which does not have good video features, it's hard to sell. It's really hard to sell compared to the other cameras who has a great video features that everybody likes to use. And look at this. How many YouTube videos, how many video contents, TikTok are coming out every day and people are looking for more video features. Not only professionals buy the one digit flagship, honestly. There are people who has a lot of money and who likes to use high-end gears for their workflow. They are still the client. They are still the customer for the Nikon D6. It could have been, but I think a lot of them are actually skip this time just because it does not give them the hybrid capability of shooting stills and a video at really high level. I think it's pretty reasonable thought to have, don't you think? Like, the first Olympic delayed in 124 years. Maybe good time to make new version of flagship in one year term with a lot more spec and, you know, functions like video. I think that's pretty reasonable. <laughs> what do you think? I'd like to hear your thoughts too. Please leave some comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead, click subscribe and like. It helps me to create a lot more content with your support. I'll see you later. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't go yet. You know, I have those calendars to give away. I know this year has been already kind of halfway through, but this is pretty nice calendar with interesting night nice sky photos. So if you want to get one of those guys, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below and I'm going to pick five people and send you this. It's a pretty nice gift for your desk, right? Freestanding. Okay, I'm done. See ya.